Hello everyone and welcome to a news video about the long dark. Now not too long ago on December 5th of 2022, the developers of the long dark, Hinterland Studios, released a DLC for the Steam version of the game called Tales from the Far Territory. The DLC is supposed to release in several different content drops, the first coming on December 5th, and then they said that over the course of a 12 month period, they would constantly add more and more to the DLC for no additional price, as long as you buy the DLC to begin with. So yeah, that's what happened on December 5th, and they did say that consoles like PS4, PS5, Xbox, one and xbox series x would not get the dlc until february of this year and they did have plans to release the it's mac edition also on december 5th but that got delayed until this year as well and now just yesterday the developers of the game released a brand new dev blog on the Discord server of the Long Dark that talks about when Mac, PS consoles, and Xbox consoles are going to be getting part one, and it also talks about when all consoles are going to be getting part two of Tales from the Far Territory. So it says that Mac, PS4, so and PS5 and the Xbox consoles will all be getting Tales from the Far Territory on Wednesday, March 15th. So it did say that they would deliver it on February, but it has been delayed a little bit. So that is sad to see. Also, additionally, it does say that the release date is set to be possibly up for change so it's not a hundred percent and there is a chance it might get slightly delayed so that's when part one will be coming to all the consoles that it isn't on right now and then it also talks about when part two will be coming to all consoles as well it says that part two of tales from the far territory will be coming to every single console on March 30th which means that on March 15th all consoles will be the same edition they'll be up to parity everyone will have part one and then on March 30th luckily Mac PS consoles and Xbox consoles won't be being left behind again and it won't be just steam getting part two it'll be every single console getting part two which is very exciting to see and I am very hyped that they are going to be keeping all the consoles updated at the same time from now on and it does say that Nintendo Switch we will have to wait for more information in the coming weeks for when Nintendo Switch is gonna get it also about the part two release it does say just like the part one release for the consoles that don't have it the part two release is possibly up for change and there is a chance that it might it might not be March 30th so anyway now that we've gotten that out of the way we should probably talk about what features are coming in the part two release and also I will briefly talk about what features are coming in the part one release for the consoles that don't currently have it so on PlayStation Xbox and Mac even if you don't buy the DLC you will be losing all of your saves all of your challenge mode saves all of your survival saves all of them are going to be removed 
which is unfortunate, and this is even if you don't buy the DLC, but it is for a good reason because of how many changes and refreshes they're making to the game. So that is something to keep in mind, everyone. And now let's move on to the stuff that we are going to be seeing in part two of Tales from the Far Territory. So, T Tales from the Far Territory Part 2 will be including the tale called Signal Void, which is estimated to be 5 plus hours of playtime to complete. It will be adding Fire Hardened Arrows, Handheld Shortwave Radio, Transponder Cache Gameplay, New Bunkers, and three new clothing items. So let's go through each of these features. Tail Signal Void will probably be a mission of some sorts you can complete in the Forsaken e Airfield. Fire Hardened Arrows is a different type of arrows, slightly less powerful, that you can create at the fire instead of the forge. Handheld Shortwave Radio will probably be something only able to be used in the Aurora or during the Glimmer Fog, and it'll probably be used to find transponder caches which, if I had to guess, are caches you can only locate with the shortwave radio, and they have valuable loot in them. There is also new bunkers, which is cool to see. I'm guessing probably in the Forsaken air Airfield, there will be new bunkers, which is going to be interesting to explore and see what's in these new bunkers. And finally, three new clothing items, which there is a chance that these clothing items will be normal clothing items, but there's also a chance that these clothing items will be animal clothing items made with fur, which would be really interesting. For example, it would be cool to see a wolf hat in the game, because right now we only have one clothing item that can be made from wolf skin. So again, that would be cool to see. And, yeah, that's everything that we're going to see in the Part 2 of Tales from the Far Territory. But also on March 30th, there is going to be a free update for anyone who owns the game. That will add Enhanced Prepper Caches, which Prepper Caches, or should I say Prepper Bunkers, are currently found in Mystery Lake, Pleasant Valley, and... I think it's Blackrock Prison region. Yeah, those are the three regions that have prepper caches in the game. But this overhaul or enhancement will make them better, make them look better, make them have different loot in them. So yeah, enhanced prepper bunkers is going to be the first thing. Then they will also be enhancing the beach combing which is where you can you can fish for items not really fish but you can find items on the coast of three different regions in the game you can find them in bleak inlet coastal highway or desolation point and i think you can also find them in the connector region of of crumbling highway which connects to desolution point so yeah enhanced beach combing probably new items a cooler way to do it instead of just running on the ice and picking up items and it will be adding finally in the free update acorns and oak trees which is cool to see they'll probably be in all regions and the oak trees will drop the acorns and it did say in a roadmap a while ago from Tales from the Far Territory, acorns can be dried and ground up to create a stimulating drink that's like coffee. So it's basically a natural way to create coffee. Just like how in the game we can use rose hips to create a natural painkiller. Also, additionally, acorns can be used to use as flour for cooking recipes. Now the thing is, we aren't getting enhanced cooking in this update, 
but probably in the next update to Tales from the Far Territory, we will see enhanced cooking. So I'm wondering if these acorns will be able to be used to make flour, or if for now we can only use them for a coffee drink. But anyway, that's all the features that are going to be in the Tales from the Far Territory Part 2 update, and also the free update that's c coming on March 30th to all users of the game. So yeah, everyone, that's basically all the news we have about Part 2 from the Tales from the Far Territory, and also when is Part 1 coming to consoles. So I hope you guys enjoyed this gaming news video. I will see you guys in the next video. And goodbye, everyone.